get off your feet and move into the rhythm of the same old beat. Whoa. A slave to the grind till you drop dead. Tangle with the devil living in your head. Do you want to party with me instead? Whoa. So we're going out tonight to dance under the city lights and live like Good evening, happy Friday. It's Melissa here with Rosie. I am bribing her with cat treats. Look how excited she is. Anyway, welcome to Cruise Shop Save Live. Um, we're live every Friday we're at the earlier time of six o'clock so that our friends in America can watch during their lunch breaks. And this week, I've got my best friend. She really is my best friend. Lucy, who's going to talk about all... The, I don't know if you remember, but back in the day, there used to be these amazing art auctions on cruise ships, and it's slightly changed over the years. And Lucy is now a TV presenter and art auctioneer. And I'm going to say she's an art expert, but she's going to probably tell me off for that. Hi, Lucy. How are hi, you? Hi, 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 hi. Hi, everyone. Happy Friday. Happy I've got Friday. Your wine. It's wine oh. o'clock over here. It is wine o'clock. Oh, I've got water. I wasn't prepared. <laughs> I need to get Who are you minutes. and where has my friend gone? <laughs> <laughs> so um Lucy and I used to work on ships very, very long time ago. We're not gonna it say how long ago. Long time ago. But a very long time ago. And I think when we met, no, you were a short excursion manager when we met, yes. right? Yes. How many years were you working on ships as a short excursion manager? Five. I did five years for my sins. Wow. Hmm. Wow, five years. And yeah. then and then what happened? <laughs> okay, so I think I probably got fed up with being short excursions because obviously, as as you know, it's difficult when you have to deal with complaints and yeah, things like that. Hard. And so five years is quite a good time to do it. Yeah. And yeah. then I think I must have got approached by Onboard Media or maybe it was because of conversations with you. And um, I became part of the new team at Onboard Media and I became a shopping guide. So of course, that's Getra. right, yeah. And so you and I, we shared ships to begin with, didn't we? But it didn't really work out um, for them. Yes, we, we did for us. But, share, yeah, um, yeah, I think we did it once and then they wanted yeah, us, yeah, me on one yeah. ship and you on another. Um, yeah. So if you're watching, welcome. We can see there's quite a few people watching already. We've already got someone saying hello. Hi, Hi, Paolo. Are they our friends or are they new friends? Yes, I think they're our friends. <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> um, yeah, so then um, you then did art auctions on yeah. cruise ships, didn't you? Yeah. yeah, so then basically I I loved being a port and shopping guide. Yeah. Um, loved it. Loved walking around on the ships with all that gorgeous jewellery. I remember I had I can that see you're nice wearing. tonight. Yeah, you're I got wearing. my John Hardy on. John Hardy, um, yeah. And excuse me one moment, Millie. That's my, I've got a cat here that is being naughty. Um, and then <laughs> I then I was working on Princess, and I absolutely loved Princess. And we lost the contract on board. B Media did with Princess. Yeah. And at that same time, I was working obviously very closely with the art auctioneer. I think it was Tom Getner, and he said, oh, no, Tom. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. He said, I think you should apply. You'd be really good. And it was only six week contracts, which was obviously very attractive. <gasps> mm -hmm. And so I had my interview and I can remember I got the call. I was down Los Olas Boulevard and I got a call that I'd got the job and I was so thrilled. And so I became a art auctioneer. And oh, John! Hi, John, Hi. how are you? Hola. Hola. Come Lovely still. ladies. Well, oh, I'm going to put John. Cheers. Cheers. Um, oh, my poor, uh, poor <laughs> your water, you're letting the side down. Get me and, one. Um, <laughs> yeah. And so then I was an art auctioneer and it opened up a whole new world. And at that time, I didn't know anything about art. So I quickly went about educating myself. So I read loads right. of books. I went to loads of exhibitions. I listened to the audios because that's what we had back then. Yeah. And yeah, and never looked back really. So then I left ships and I went on to be, as you know, a brand manager. And that's where we became even closer um, yeah. to Sophie Fury. Yeah. Then my visa didn't work out in America. So I decided to come back to London and I went to work for Halcyon Gallery. And um, that was in Harrods and also on mm. Bond Street. Um, and then I worked for Washington. Yeah, lots of jobs, basically, lots of jobs. But then so I, found, I found my way back to art. 
That's amazing, isn't it? So mm. how many years in total have you been in art? Golly, that's a good question. Um, I don't know. Um, probably a couple of years on ships. And then I did, golly, I don't, about 10, 12. Gosh. I don't know. So, so would you call time. yourself an art expert? Hmm. It's a difficult one, I know one, you, you struggle with that, don't you? But I do. I think I was watching you. I say. am, I suppose, so, now. friends, we talk all the time. Yeah. I actually realise I haven't, because at the moment, you tell everybody what you're doing now. Okay, so two years ago, I got approached to work on the Fine Art Auction, which is a televised live art auction. And the parent company is in Atlanta in the United States, and that's been going for 15 years. And um, some of our good friends are the hosts on that and they wanted to expand into other markets and we expanded into Australia. So I am one of the co-hosts for the Australian show. So we basically have a four hour auction. It's live and wow. it's televised to Australia Yeah, um, four times a week. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. And I am the art expert. So and at the moment I'm doing both. I am the expert and the auctioneer. So yes, I talk about the pieces of art for about seven, eight, nine minutes and then auction it. <laughs> yeah. So I watched today and I was in awe. I, yeah, I'm, so I've never been so proud. Aww. Like you're, you're my best friend and I was watching you. So where can people go to watch this, watch the auction? Well, if you live in Australia, you can watch it on Gecko TV. I know we yeah. have a friend in Australia, Eli. I think it's her last week there. Oh, and yeah. Then, yes, she is there. But she doesn't yeah. watch television, so she hasn't watched it. But, um, <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so you can watch on Gecko, but you can also yeah. watch it on the web, you know, live like you did on the webcast. Yeah. So yeah. you can go to, I think let me, it's let easier me write if thing. you go to the shop AVC Australia one. Right. W -W -W For our friends w -W -W. in America, you can watch the American show, but I'm not on the American show. I know. It's a sad thing. We but need to on the American. The show. American show is on every week as well. So there we go. ShopABCAustralia.com. Yeah. You can watch the live mm -hmm. webcast. And that is now time wise for the United Kingdom. It's changing this week. So it will be 11 a.m. in the morning until three right. o'clock in the afternoon. So whatever that conversion is, wherever you are all living, where you're watching, I don't know at the moment, but we'd love to yeah. see you. And Do you know what? Yeah, do you know what shocked me the most about watching you today is that the art is so famous. Yeah. And it's so yeah. scarce. Yeah. And it's valuable. Yeah. Like it's it's unbelievable. So I've got some images here now. Um, can you talk us through? I know it's like um, a busman's holiday here because you've just done a four That's hour funny. show this That's afternoon. Funny. But I love this. Yeah, no, this is a good one. So this is a, he's, a, he lives, he divides his time between England and Italy. He's called mm. Magnus Jern and he's really edgy. He's uber, uber cool, isn't he? Really? Um, so he breathes new life into sort of old, the old and the new. So you've got porcelain there, that's French porcelain. And yeah. then he's brought it up to date with that monkey. So brought in a bit <laughs> of that sort of cheekiness. Yeah. And um, he was a Vivian Westwood designer. He worked for Viz Vivian oh. Westwood. Yeah. And then he broke out into the world of art by accident because he just wanted to decorate his home with art and realized that he didn't like any of the art that you could buy. So he designed oh, wow. his home. Yeah. And wow. so now he he does the artwork for the Palms Casino in Vegas. So yeah, he's really famous wow. now. So What's his name again? Magnus Yearn. He's Magnus Yearn. Yearn. Okay. G I think it's G J O E R N or something like that. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and well, that's my that that is my Picasso, kind of art. Yeah, that was your favorite. And this has Picasso. Picasso. Yeah. Holy Picasso. cow! So you sell Picassos? Mm -hmm. Wow. That was a lifetime lithograph, so that is from his lifetime. It's not created after he passed away. Um, it was during his lifetime. That is actually his second wife, Jacqueline Rock. Wow. And yeah, that's a lithograph. So lithographs, I think lots of people don't understand what they are. So I try to explain that on the show as best I can. But yeah. it comes under the umbrella term of print. And prints right. are not to be mixed up with posters. Posters are posters. They are photochemically reproduced. Yeah. A print could be a lithograph. It could be a serograph. It could be a silkscreen. It could be an etching. 
That's right. the term, the umbrella term. And this is a lithograph. So it's an art wow. form within itself. And yeah, Picasso loved to work in lithography. Wow. I can't believe that. So uh, can you say like how much roughly that would auction? Or you can't say, can you? I'm putting you on yeah, the spot. it depends. I mean, our prices go stupid low. I mean, on the American show, things go for much more. Yeah. Because they built up their viewership over 15 years. And we're still yeah. establishing ourselves in Australia. So, yeah, I mean, crazy prices we sell for. I can't yeah, remember how much that one went for. Because the customer sets the bid, don't yeah. they? Yeah. So there's no starting bid? No, it's a no minimum bid auction. Oh. I always have trouble saying that. And I've learned I've just got to say it slowly. Go on, do no it. no minimum bid auction. <laughs> no minimum Not, bid normally auction. Normally it's no minimum bid auction. I can't say it. But um, <laughs> yes, so there is no reserve. You start the bidding off wherever you want to start it. And when, wherever we bring the hammer down, that includes the frame. God. Gosh. Yeah. Does it? I know. I know. So those yeah. pieces that I saw go today, I watched a Mirogo. Yeah. And I that was at the end, wasn't it? Towards the end. Yeah. So by then, it's quite late in Australia. So people are sleeping. So there's not much competition. So it goes for really good pricing. <gasps> yeah. That's a good tip. Yeah, good tip. Top That's tip. Good tip. Yeah. So that Moreau went and yeah. you had a George Brack. Did I say that yeah. correctly? Yeah, Gosh. George Brack. Yeah. George, George Brack. Brack. But I think yeah. the program was over before the bidding ended on that oh. one. I wasn't mm -hmm. sure. Yeah, I can't believe it. So, are these people like like I'm? I'm looking at. It, I'm like I I want to buy one. So, if I'm in the UK, right, and yeah, I can, we're, still. we're renovating yeah. a house, and I want to get yeah. some art. Now, I'm not into. I'm not going to say it because it's rude, but I, <laughs> I I'm not into artifact shit, right? No, I'm not. No, no. and that's what I, I tell everyone every single week. You. You do not need to know anything about art yeah. to appreciate it or to collect it. You just need to know what you love. And I'm the same. Right. I don't like it when these art experts go into why this is and what this symbolizes. And oh, I, I just know. I just, you just like it or you don't. Yeah. It's like you wine. just like it or you don't. Yeah. You like it or you don't. <laughs> mm, exactly. All right. Uh, this, this I like. Yeah, that's a Marc Chagall. Ah, so that's famous. Yeah. I've yeah, heard of Marc Chagall. Famous. Yeah, yeah. Why, is, why is he so famous? He, well, he was one of the big hitters from the last century. So he was up there with Picasso. I mean, for example, he was so well thought of that he he was asked to paint the ceiling of the Paris Opera House. <gasps> so wow. when you walk into the Paris Opera House, you'll see, you know, a beautiful dome and it's a Marc Chagall. And it was very controversial at the time, but it was definitely the right choice. He wow. also was known for his stained glass windows. And he was right. just different. You know, he what he did differently was he put poetry on paper, really. Mm -hmm. So he was very romantic and um, oh. his pieces are very joyful. So I think that's why. I, I like that. Yeah, mm. I like that a lot. So and this I love. This is my kind of speech. Well, Banksy, Banksy, yeah, everyone. Who doesn't oh love a Banksy? God. Yeah, well, I, and I live in Bristol, so. Yes, well, there I'm you right go. Here. Yeah. yeah. Love it. And I, yeah, I've walked past his, um, well, what do you call it? art many yeah, times. Yeah, his art. He Because he did, he transformed really yeah. street art. Before that, it was all about tagging and it was a bit, yeah. you know, messy and dirty. And and then he came along and he actually created art. So he was creating yeah. stencils in his studio and then bringing them to our walls of our street. Mm -hmm. And obviously, we know now he's a multi million dollar artist. But do you know, Melissa, that when he first started out, no one would touch him. No art gallery would represent him. Nobody. So he had wow. to do it for himself. He started wow. his own print making. So business. he's incognito, isn't he? No mm, one yeah, really knows who he is. No. I love that. Mm. I love that. There's been lots of theories about who he is. Yeah. So um, he recently did a, he went to, he's, he's done something in Ukraine. Did yeah, I he read, did. Yeah. yeah. And, he's, and recently he did something, and it was controversial because he's always controversial. He likes mm -hmm. to address, you know, social problems. And he did one recently, I can't remember where it was, and I'm sure somebody was, who is watching will know, but it was for Valentine's Day. Yeah. Um, but it was talking about domestic abuse. So he oh, always, right. you know, creates something very controversial. Yeah. Also, I don't know whether people know this. I'd love to go to it, Melissa. Definitely I'd love to go with it, yeah. to it with you. Yeah. But he has his own hotel. 
Really? And it's called, wait for it, this is hilarious. It's called the Walled Off Hotel instead of the Walled Off. <laughs> Oh, and I think it's in Bethlehem. I think it's in Bethlehem. Israel. Yeah. Wow. I'm going, yeah, yeah let's go. That's our girls. Yeah. Can. And it started off yeah. as a pop-up, you know. He was only going right. to do it for a few months, but it's just yeah. stayed. Yeah. yeah he, did a, he did a, um, a show in Bristol. Oh, did he? Uh, yeah. And he, he took over one of the historic buildings in Bristol. Somebody else might have some more tips about it. And he basically vandalized it. I mean, it was all, you know, made up. Yeah. He didn't really vandalise it, but it was art. So there was a, sc- a statue in the mid. He did a statue and then he vandalised it. And it was just this. And there was queues all the way down Park yeah, Street. I can imagine. Just people queuing. I didn't go because, yeah, I, I didn't mm. go. It was when it was really hot. I don't know why I didn't go, but I did go. Too old to stand about like that. <laughs> and then, And then this is more my speed. Yeah. Oh, we love him. I love Carl Stryker. So Carl Stryker is also really modelling himself on Banksy almost because he is anonymous as well. So no one knows who he is. We don't know who his identity is. When I communicate with him, he won't even let me phone him up. I have to do it via email Uh, or on Instagram. Yeah. But his works are brilliant. And he always takes these nostalgic characters from our yeah. childhood and brings them bang up to date. Yeah. He's right. A uh, that's my, I yeah. absolutely love that. Yeah. So that. Um, let's talk about, oops, hang on a minute. Let's talk about cruise ships because yes. um, they used to do these auctions on cruise ships and they were hugely popular. I mean, they were packed, yeah. weren't they? And it was, I mean, I don't think people realize how many. I mean, I actually bought a, a Salvador Dali. Uh, I don't know where it is actually. Did I sell it? I might have sold it to buy the house, probably. <laughs> I, <don't, laughs> I remember I, you. I remember you having that, but yeah, I yeah. think you might have done actually. Yeah, yeah. And um, I, I learned a little bit about art because I'd I'd never heard of Salvador Dali. I'd never heard of Chagall. Never heard of all this. People. I still don't know anything about art. I'm really ignorant. You do, but I just felt like it was to. a up. Uh, what? I have to. <laughs> yeah, you have to. I just thought it was great because it was something the guests could learn. You know, yeah. when they were on board the ships and the mm. auctions. The auctioneers were just so good. You remember Richard mm. Hart and all those mm. people. Mm. They were just so so good. But I was recently on a cruise on. Uh, Iona and I noticed that there was a white wall gallery yeah. but I didn't notice that they were doing any auctions it's all changed no. now hasn't it I don't think it's changed on all cruise lines but I could be wrong on that but I yeah. know that P&O were the first because weirdly I think I told you I helped to set up that white yeah. wall on P&O <laughs> and that was yeah. a new concept because the British guests don't really feel no. comfortable with the auction no. program and so now they just have a gallery don't they and I think yeah. it's enrichment and you learn about art and there's yeah. talks and things like yeah. that and I love yeah. that and I know I, that do. I think that works really well with the P&O brand absolutely and I, I mean because it was in a, a fab it was really beautifully set up so literally you walk through this gallery to get to the main atrium <clears throat> and there was a desk with a, a video screen behind them they were showing David Bowie uh, I can't remember the name of the artist, but they were showing all the David Bowie new stuff. Oh, what was the name of the artist? I, I don't know. Check. Yeah, Sorry. so so good. And he was busy. There was a lot mm. of people waiting yeah. to speak to him, yeah. and he was he was doing a lot of talks because I like White Wall, and people are familiar with White Wall as well yeah. in the UK, aren't they? It's a good brand. Yeah. I love and they that. Have great art. Yeah, it's really good, and I think it's really refreshing, you know, and it's um, a very. Mm. You know, there's a con- contemporary feel, and I think that's what everybody wants to collect these days. It really is a contemporary, you know, yeah. artist. So yeah, I mean, I I just love all the new stuff, all the modern stuff, the mm. I don't know, the pop art and stuff like that. I love all of that. I think it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, I agree. The I mean, the recent thing that we put up on the wall is because we're renovating the house. So once a wall gets done, we whack something up on it. But it's not <laughs> yeah. a lot of walls are done. So the yeah. hallway. My husband's got this most amazing album collection. Yeah. So I bought him some frames, album frames, and he's got never mind the mullets, uh by the Sex Pistols and the Lost Boys and all those albums. It actually looks really good. I didn't know you can get frames. So what you can get frames for albums. Albums, yeah. Yeah. So cool. if you've got iconic album, I mean back in the day that the artwork that they used to put 
on yeah. albums were amazing. Like, yeah, yeah, um, they did. Diamond yeah. Dogs, David Bowie. That was that was done by a really famous artist. Oh, and it was uh, Peter Max on Ships, wasn't it? Yes, Peter Max. He's still around. Is he? We didn't sell him, but yeah, he's still around. Gosh. So I've got a question for you. I don't know if you yeah. can answer, but what's your favorite art? Like, for instance, you've got a beautiful painting behind you. Yes, but I've had this since I was in Miami. So this has been with me for about 20 years. I'm <gasps> really scared to say that, but it is Gosh. about 20 years. And I love it still, but to be honest with you, it's going. When I moved to my new house. Really? If anyone wants to buy it, by the way. <laughs> What is it? Uh, it is literally about, I don't know, five feet by four feet. That's and massive. I'm tied, you know, like the colour. I just need a change in my life. Yeah. So um, I love it, but I won't be able to put that up in the loft. How would I get that up in the loft? <laughs> you won't. What, what? Who's the artist then? It's a Canadian artist called Frank Milo. So I went to oh. Canada I, to, I think I had to go and get my visa renewed. Mm. And I loved it there. I think we were in Montreal and I saw this artist fell in love and I asked for a commission. So, yeah, it's the most oh, I've ever wow. spent on a piece of art. Really? Um, yeah. Gosh. So will you be able to get your money back? If you no, sell it? probably not. Oh, so whoever sure. buys it will get a great big bargain. But, you know, I, but I think that's what I say to the people who watch the show, that if you divide it by how many years you're going to enjoy it for, I've enjoyed that for yeah. 20 years. Yes. And it's, it's, when you yeah. divide it by that, you know, you, it doesn't, it's nothing. And mm. I've loved it, you know, and I do mm. love it. Because mm. where you're sitting yeah. now, I sit the other end yeah you sit on the other end you. I'm and on the Queen of Sheba right now as it's known <laughs> Queen of Sheba and we've done that in L Miami in yeah. your place in Miami your, when you lived in London I remember yeah yeah this sofa yeah. and that picture's been uh, everywhere yeah it's an iconic yes yeah, it's time for a change, <laughs> it's time for change. and I love that and a new other sofa. piece and a new sofa yeah and yeah. I love the other piece of art you've got with the, t the four ladies in it yeah, that's staying because that reminds me of our Good. times out, you know, with Cosmopolitans. Yeah. And I bought that on cruise ships. So Did that you? was, I bought that when I was an art auctioneer. I think it was actually a giveaway. And that yeah. is worth quite a lot of money now. Is it's it? Todd White. And Todd White is still about. Um, <gasps> wow. So, you know, art does obviously yeah. appreciate. So, yeah, it but does. you must buy it because you love it. Yeah. You do, yeah. You can't buy it as an investment because, no. no. yeah, it's like jewellery. You've got to just enjoy it. Mm. Um, yeah. So who's your favourite artist at the moment? Anybody new, up and coming? The street artists. I, I mean, I really yeah. got into street art, the contemporary artists, and I think it's because I've learned about them and I like the story. So, yeah, but I do enjoy, too, the, the classics, you know, like yeah. um, Monet and Renoir. yeah. If I could afford an original, oh gosh, I'd have so, an original Renoir or something like that. So, what's this picture here that I found? Oh, well, I don't, you do know what I had to send those to someone, but I think I actually I don't know what that is. I don't know who that, that looks is. old. Yeah, it does. It's Renaissance style, isn't it? I'm not quite sure yeah. who that is. And that's one heck of a frame. That was in the National Gallery, I know that in London. Wow. Uh, that looks yeah. amazing. That looks fabulous. Thank you so much. So, um, one last time before we go, um, I just want to go already. No, I don't have to. We can stay a bit longer if you want. Um, is anyone this... watching? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, we've got people watching. If anyone's watching, just send us a comment and say hello. A comment. I think my cat's about to jump up behind my back. Let's see. There we oh, go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, she's so fabulous. Does she want feeding? She's had some food, but she probably wants the third course. Oh, yeah, that's what my cat does. So I've started to feed Rosie up here. So literally, she came bribing. half an hour early. Bri yeah, mm -hmm. I am bribing her. Yeah, and she's no fool. She's just sitting there going, I know you're going to feed me because mm. I need to go out. It's time for me to go out and look for my so I need, I need my little snack before I go. But um, so when's your next auction? I'm working on Sunday, but Rachel will be there tomorrow. So we okay. do Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Right. And you can look on the fineartauction.com or shopavcaustralia.com. I would do that one if you're British. Right. And also follow us on social media. We need some more followers. I even I have see, my own yeah. Facebook page 
um, on, yeah, it's Lucy. I can't remember what it is, but I'm on there. The art auction. The, the wait, fine art auction dot com. Fine art auction dot com. I think channel. It's channel, yeah. Channel dot com. That's more for I. I think for our American viewers. That one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the yeah, fine art know. auction. So that's the website, and then you've got your Instagram and yeah. um, Facebook. Yeah, Facebook. We're on everything. LinkedIn, TikTok, LinkedIn, Instagram, TikTok. LinkedIn. I think we're on yeah. Twitter. Everywhere. My friend, my friend just told me I need to get on TikTok. Yeah, I don't know how to do TikTok. Uh, we'll have to learn together. We can learn it. We can learn yeah. it. Yeah. So you're moving house. So you're going to be buying some new art. Yes. What, I'm so what do you fancy? Well, I don't know yet. I'm going to wait until I get in there. But I always talk about gallery walls, you know, and creating walls. You know, I love it when people put lots of pieces of art yeah. in like a collage. Might try yeah. that. Yeah, I like yet. that. I've seen yeah. that before. I really like that too. Mm. Yeah. On staircases. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, it, does, it really it? does. Yeah, we've got a wall that I actually I might do that with. My husband doesn't like that, but I do. Yeah, I think you can <laughs> I'm sure you can convince him, Melissa. I think so. Get him on Pinterest. There's some great ideas. Yes. The, yeah. I I modeled my bathroom after mm. a Pinterest image mm. that I saw. Mm. It really does mm. help, doesn't mm. it? It does. Yeah. It does. It does, yeah. does, does, does. Brilliant. All and right, so, and, all... and so, your viewers do they go on cruises and do they buy art? You know, because the those art auctions at sea are wonderful. You know, because you are in such a relaxed environment, so you can really they enjoy are. it and learn about it. I know, and you can and you can get like you say, you can get some really good bargains. I mean, yeah. you can get caught up in the moment as well. <laughs> After that, yeah, before. yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, but I. <laughs> definitely will go to this channel because I watched you today and I just yeah. was watching going what how yeah. much I don't know and it's people don't un realize it's a huge opportunity so if you want yeah. to build those gallery walls you can build them for way less than you would ever be able to do if you went to your local gallery or if you went to your local yeah. department store you know and bought those posters basically framed so 100 yeah. it's a wonderful opportunity for people and it's untapped so get in there i and, know yeah. i know because i don't think i've ever seen the art like that anywhere because mm. i mean i i love going around gallery art galleries but you're very much stuck with what they've got in the gallery at the time yeah so that's why i loved about watching your show today was that there's just so much i mean not all of it's my cup of tea but no, um it's not everyone's is it and there was a raphael on there today as well i mean we span all of the century so you go back sometimes to the 15th 16th century gosh. then to the modern day and the 21st i mean that's what i love about it it's the diversity yeah. of art that you would never get to see in a gallery and you gosh, don't get yeah. intimidated you know you can no. just sit at home and watch it on the TV and drink in your pajamas wine. and drink yeah. wine. Yeah. <laughs> no, I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. And I mean, we've been friends for so so long, and I just I'd never watched it, and I just mm -hmm. watched it today, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna like totally get some art for my house. Yeah. And um, from... well, you've got the right friend. I know. Yeah. <laughs> friends and family discounts. <laughs> but um, that so if if they go to Shop AVC Australia. Even if they're from the UK, they can still buy it. Yeah, there's a toll-free number for the UK still there. So you can okay. call that number. It's toll-free. Get registered. Get bidding. Yeah. And we ship. Amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I loved it's it. Really it's Australia so and the UK. And yeah. then obviously if you are in the United States, then go and watch these the show in the United States, which is this Friday, one. Saturday, Sunday, Monday too. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. I love that. I did. I thought. I thought it was because at first I thought there was some background noise when I was listening, and I realised who was that in the background that was shouting. Oh yes. Yeah, so yes, that's in the studio in Atlanta. So it's amazing technology. I'm here in the United Kingdom. We have the Atlanta studio, and in yeah. the background is Jason, the floor manager, calling out the bids. So that was him and the team are out in Atlanta. Oh, so that's wow. what. But also today, to be honest with you, in my studio, I don't think it picked it up on the 
mic there was banging going on like somebody was going around banging I think all the pipes or something because it's been snowing here and um, right. so I was really like distracted because there was this banging like going on and I was trying to concentrate but I don't know whether you, you might have heard that but no I never no I didn't hear that it's Jason it's Jason I I'll like that I could hear him yeah. so he is yelling. British but he lives in Atlanta oh, and wow. so yeah he he does calls out the bids Mm. amazing and so what's the funniest thing that's ever happened when you've been well, on live the show. Mm. on on the show yeah I don't know. probably the end of my gavel like falling off <laughs> as I <laughs> that's yeah. comedic yeah that's quite yeah. funny and then what's the worst thing that's happened oh well when our internet goes down so oh, if the internet no. goes down, we lose complete signal. So that's quite panicky. Yeah, so but you scrabble around and try and get the connection back again. But generally, everything goes quite well, yeah. and you just learn yeah, how really to like good. go with the flow, and you know. Yeah, I I just thought it was brilliant, really, really good, and I, I I enjoyed it. Like it was entertaining to me, and I learned so much. So if you anyone's watching right now, you definitely want to go to shopabcaustralia.com. It's got on that website when the next live shows. Definitely watch one of Lucy's. Rachel's also very good. I saw some recordings of Rachel's yeah, as well. She's Saturday so, and Monday. Yeah, is she? Okay, <laughs> gosh, that's so so good. But I, I think that's it because you're making me want wine, so I'm gonna okay, have to go and fine. get some wine. <laughs> yeah. Go and get some wine. I'm going to go get some wine. It's lovely to see you, friend. You too. And nice to all see right. everyone, even though I don't know who you are. <laughs> lovely to like, see and meet you all. And um, yeah, tune in. We'll do this again. Yeah, but definitely yeah. watch the art auctions. You'll be shocked. It's amazing. Um, but thank you all for watching. Have a great weekend. And we'll see you next Friday. I don't know who my special guest is going to be. I never do. But <laughs> I will get someone to come and join me because I hate being on my own. I'm lonely on my own. I'll come not. back. Okay, you come back. That's brilliant. All right, then. Bye. Have a great weekend, everybody. Bye, 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 bye. Take care. Bye. Bye. bye.